Hi, this is Andrew Angel with Angel Eye. I'm going to run through how to process a credit card with PayPal Payments Pro using the FileMaker custom modules that I've developed. So this one's a little bit more involved than some of the other videos. There's just a lot of data being passed back and forth. But let's go ahead and take a look at the script real quick. I've got this set up already to save a little bit of time. And we'll just quickly walk through what exactly is going on here. Just like usual, very first thing I do is run the clear global fields just to get all those cleared out and start from a clean slate. And then in this case, we can pass order items in so that the order items will show up in the PayPal transaction details. Of course, there's only a single parameter we can pass into the function, so we need to generate an order items string separated by bars. So all this little chunk here is doing is looping through the order items on the invoice and generating you can see we're creating a variable called order items and we're just generating a string with all of the fields for each item so for example first one shows product name and then a bar and then product name again really the second field is for description but the database didn't have that so it'd be name description then another bar then the price and a bar product ID quantity and then there's some closing bars here that would store each of these would have eBay auction ID information if you had that available I'm not using that now so I just left them blank and then each item would be separated by three tildes is the way this is set up to work so you just need to make sure that's on the end there and this this test file will be available on the website as well as some more documentation on how exactly to set this up but we're just generating our order items string and storing it in order items variable once we've got that prepared everything else is available in the single fields on their own so we can go ahead and generate our request to PayPal so like usual I'm gonna create a variable called PayPal result and this time we're gonna load in due direct payment so we can take a look at this and you can see there's quite a bit of request data here it's a pretty big function everything's all filled out already let's go ahead and take a look at what it would be like from scratch we'll go down to do direct payment and you can see we got the regular API credentials like usual payment action would be sale authorization etc IP address fraud management filter info credit card info billing address shipping address order information pricing all that good stuff security info everything that can go in the do direct payment request is available as a parameter here so if we just get rid of that again you can see I've already got this one all filled out with all the data it's just using a lot of database fields from the invoices file that we're working with and we're also using order items here that we generated prior to this script step so when this particular line loads it's gonna load all of our global variables in our solution file so that everything is now available so the next thing we'll do is we'll simply check the value of acknowledge or ACK so that we can see whether it's successful so in this case we're just getting the global response field ACK if it's success or success with warning or actually this line is saying if it's not either of those things then we need to display an error so I'm gonna show a custom dialog error processing payment and again here we're just using the global fields in this case error code an error long message to generate a simple error code and message back to the user so if there was an error we'll just exit the script after showing that message if everything worked out okay what we're gonna do is simply save the, in the transaction ID that PayPal returns back into our invoices table and it'll show up you'll see that when we run a test and then also for PCI compliance issues we're gonna go ahead and remove the credit card info so we're just gonna wipe out everything but the last four of the card number and we're gonna clear out the expiration date as well and then just commit the record at the very end to clean it up so if you're wondering about future payments when you clear out the transaction like the, or the credit card like this um, that's what reference transactions are for so we'll cover that more in the do reference transaction video but PayPal saves all the card info so you don't need to do that all you would need is the PayPal transaction ID of any previous sale or authorization and then you can process future payments with that same card without needing it really so that's a quick overview of the script let's go ahead and close out of this and take a look at actually processing an invoice with it 
So again, this is just the starter solution invoices file that FileMaker provides. I'm going to go ahead and say new record. And I've got some test, tester, tester, send customer here. So that'll fill in our billing and shipping information. We'll go ahead and add a product. And let's change, oh, to a quantity of five, four ninety nine ninety five. That should make it stand out a little bit in PayPal when we go take a look at it. We might want to leave a note. This is a test invoice. And now we have an invoice here ready to process. So let's go ahead and fill in some test credit card info. Actually, mine here is a MasterCard that we're testing with. Expiration date can be anything we want since we're working on the sandbox right now. Same with the card code. I'm just going to make it one. It's filled in, ready to go. Let's go ahead and hit process card. And now we see here we got a green transaction ID. This was returned back from PayPal because the transaction was successful. Also, the credit card has been wiped out except for the last four, and the expiration date is gone as well, which is exactly what we wanted. So, real quick, I forgot to show you. Let's go ahead and do another new record here, and we'll just do this one real fast. Do a different item. And let's say I don't fill in the credit card info, and we'll say process card. Now you'll see how we actually get an error code here, 10527, this transaction cannot be processed, please enter a valid credit card number and type. This is exactly what PayPal returns in this particular case, so we can see that our error is working the way we want as well. So with all that done, let's go take a look at what this actually looks like in PayPal now. This is my developer account. Make sure this session is still loaded here and then we'll load my sandbox seller account that I have all these transactions falling to right now and we'll be able to see that transaction sitting in here we'll click into the details so we can see how all the order items and everything are laid out nice and neat for us you can see our 499.95 from tester testerson of course you can see all my previous ones as well Let's go ahead and click into the details of this particular payment so we can see what it looks like. And now we can see we've got our shipping address in here. We got it was, you know, processed over Payments Pro. Here's our transaction ID, Tester Testerson. Here's the items, quantity 5, widget 123, 499.95. Everything is broken down nice and neat. Our invoice ID came over the way we would expect. And everything looks good. So that is processing a payment with PayPal Payments Pro using the AngelEye plugin for FileMaker.